Greetings from Who Died Today America, where we uncover the stories and memories of famous personalities who have made an impact on the world. Today, we come together to honor and remember the talented individuals who have recently passed away. Stay with us as we pay our respects to the legends who have left us in the first week of February and the last week of January 2023, as reported by trusted news outlets across the country and around the world. Lost Legends pays tribute to Charlie Thomas, a talented American singer best remembered for his association with the Drifters. In 1958, Thomas was performing at the Apollo Theater with the Five Crowns when he was recruited by George Treadwell to become the new lead singer of the Drifters. Thomas went on to sing lead on two of the group's biggest hits, Sweets for My Sweet and When My Little Girl is Smiling. A proud father and grandfather, Thomas was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1988 and received the Rhythm and Blues Foundation's Pioneer Award in 1999. On May 21, 2011, Thomas and the Drifters performed at the Vintage New England Theater. Sadly, Thomas passed away on January 31, 2023, after a battle with liver cancer. He was 85 years old. Tributes to Charlie Thomas. Jesse Lemonier, an American football player who played for teams like the Los Angeles Chargers and Detroit Lions, passed away on January 26, 2023, at the age of 25. Lemonier appeared in six games with the Chargers, recording two tackles before being released. His family has not disclosed the cause of death. Lemonier was an outside linebacker and had a college football career with the Liberty Flames before being signed as an undrafted free agent by the Chargers in 2020. He also played for the Birmingham Stallions in the United States Football League USFL. How sad it is that Lemonier and his girlfriend were expecting their first child. Jesse Nathaniel Lemonier will be remembered for his contributions to the sport of American football. Tributes to Jesse Lemonier. Peter McCann was an awesome American songwriter, musician, teacher, and advocate for songwriters. He wrote lots of popular pop rock and country songs, like his hit song Do You Wanna Make Love from 1977, and Right Time of the Night for Jennifer Warnes. Peter grew up in Bridgeport and Fairfield, where he went to college and started a folk rock group called The Repairs. He played guitar, keyboard, sang, and wrote songs for the group. In 1971, he went to LA to record with the group under Motown Records and later got a job as a staff writer at ABC Records. In 1987, he moved to Nashville and worked as a staff writer and sometimes as a recording artist. Throughout his career, he was signed with big music companies like Motown, 20th Century Fox, CBS Records, and RCA Records. Peter also spent over 25 years fighting for songwriters' rights in Washington and gave talks on copyright law at different colleges across the U.S. Sadly, he passed away peacefully in his sleep at his home in Nashville on January 26, 2023, at the age of 74. Tributes to Peter McCann David J. Albright was an awesome football player who played as a linebacker for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in the Canadian Football League. He started playing football in high school at Marina High School and then went to Chabot College before transferring to San Jose State University. During his time with the Rough Riders from 1986 to 1991, David made an impressive 377 tackles and 12 sacks over 76 games. Sadly, David passed away from a heart attack just one day after his 63rd birthday on January 26, 2023. Tributes to David J. Albright
George R. Robertson was a talented Canadian actor who won over audiences with his compelling performances in films like Police Academy and JFK. He passed away on January 29, 2023 at the age of 89 after a long and successful career in Hollywood. He was best known for his role as Henry Hurst in the Police Academy series, where he played the chief of police who evolved from a strict and resistant character to a friend liar one. In addition to Police Academy, Robertson appeared in several other films, including Rosemary is Baby, Airport, Norma Ray, and National Lampoon's Senior Trip. On television, he was seen in a 1989 episode of The Twilight Zone and portrayed Vice President Dick Cheney in the miniseries The Path to 9 11 Robertson was a Canadian native who also served as a UNICEF ambassador and received the Danny K. UNICEF Canada Award in 1990. Tributes to George R. Robertson David Victor Harris was a talented journalist and a passionate activist. He made a big impact during the movement against the Vietnam War by encouraging young men to resist the draft and even refused his own orders to report for duty. As a result, he spent nearly two years in jail. Despite this, David went on to have a successful 50-year career as a journalist and author, covering both national and international stories. Sadly, David passed away on February 6, 2023 at his home in Mill Valley, California at the age of 76. Tributes to David Victor Harris Charles K. Vaughan was a standout football player in the Canadian Football League. He was born in the United States but made a name for himself as a lineman with the Ottawa Rough Riders. He played with the team for 12 seasons and won the CFL's Outstanding Lineman Award twice. In 1956 and 1957, he was inducted into the Canadian Football Hall of Fame in 1978. And even today, he is still highly regarded as one of the top players of all time. In a poll conducted by Canadian sports network TSN, he was voted 41st on the CFL's Top 50 Players one of the few players from the 1950s to make the list. Sadly, K. Vaughan passed away at the age of 91. But there is no information available about the cause of his death. Tributes to Charles K. Vaughan Mickey Jones was an accomplished musician and actor known for his contributions to the entertainment industry. He was a talented drummer who played with famous musicians like Trini Lopez and Bob Dylan, and was a founding member of the first edition with singer Kenny Rogers. Jones played on 17 gold records over a musical career that lasted over two decades. After the breakup of the first edition, he shifted his focus to acting and made numerous appearances in film and television. Jones passed away on February 7, 2018, at the age of 76. Due to complications from diabetes, he left behind his wife and five children who will always remember him for his remarkable talent and contributions to the entertainment world. Tributes to Mickey Jones Andrew J. McKenness, a well-known American businessman, had a long and impactful career. He served as the chairman of McDonald's from 2004 to 2016 and was later named Chairman Emeritus until his death in 2023. Throughout his life, he received numerous accolades, including being inducted as a laureate of the Lincoln Academy of Illinois and being awarded the Order of Lincoln, the state's highest honor, by the governor of Illinois in 2000 for his contributions in the field of social services. And Rue J. McKenna passed away on February 7, 2023, at the age of 93 in North Shore, Illinois. Tributes to Andrew J. McKenna's Everett Quinton an American actor renowned for his roles in films such as Natural Born Killers, Pollock, and Bros, 
Everett passed away on January 23, 2023 at the age of 71. Everett was not only an accomplished actor, but also the founder and artistic director of the ridiculous theatrical company. He left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and will be deeply missed. Sadly, Everett lost his battle with glioblastoma. Our thoughts and condolences go out to his loved ones during this difficult time. Tributes to Everett Quinton. It breaks our hearts to tell you that the passing of George P. Wilbur, the legendary Hollywood stuntman and actor, on February 1, 2023, Wilbur passed away at the age of 81. The cause of his death is currently unknown. Wilbur was renowned for his roles in the horror genre and will forever be remembered for his portrayal of Michael Myers in Halloween 4 and Halloween. The Curse of Michael Myers He had a long and illustrious career, starting as a stand-in for John Wayne and going on to work on classic films like Escape from the Planet of the Apes and TV shows like Mission Impossible. He was a skilled stuntman, lending his talent to films like Die Hard and Spider-Man, as well as horror flicks like Poltergeist, Ghostbusters and A Nightmare on Elm Street 5. George P. Wilbur will be deeply missed. Tributes to George P. Wilbur It's a sad day for jazz lovers everywhere with the passing of Butch Miles, the renowned American jazz drummer. On February 2, 2023, Miles passed away in Austin, Texas at the age of 78. Butch was celebrated for his work in the swing and big band genres and was fortunate enough to perform and record with some of the biggest names in jazz, including Benny Goodman, Lionel Hampton, and Harry James. He was a standout performer at jazz festivals worldwide and left a lasting impact on the jazz community with his energetic and swinging drumming style. Butch Miles will be remembered as one of the leading drummers in the swing and big band style. With critical acclaim and a devoted following of fans, tributes to Butch Miles. It's with heavy heart that we announce the passing of Jean-Pierre Jabouille, the former French Formula One driver who passed away on February 2, 2023, at the age of 80. Born in Paris, Jean-Pierre won the European Formula Two Championship in 1976 and made 49 Formula One stops between 1975 and 1981. He made his full debut at the 1975 French Grand Prix for Tyrrell. Jabouille will always be associated with Renault where he competed in the majority of his Formula One races and made history by securing Renault's first ever Formula One win at the 1979 French Grand Prix at Dijon Prinois. This win was also the first win for a turbocharged engine. After retiring from Formula One, Jean-Pierre devoted himself to sports car racing in France. Tributes to Jean-Pierre Jabouille Kenny Benkowski was an American professional wrestler who went by the ring name Kenny Sodbuster J. He was best recognized by this moniker. His most notable accomplishments came while he was working for the American Wrestling Association. J's primary occupation was that of a jobber. In tag team battles, he and fellow American Wrestling Association jobber Jake the Milkman Milliman were frequently teamed up against each other. Throughout his career, he was well known for his rough and tumble approach to wrestling. It was reported on February 2, 2023 that Jay had passed away at the age of 85 years old. Tributes to Kenny Benkowski Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future updates and news on notable deaths. Your continued support means a lot to us. Thanks for watching.